Hi everyone, it's John the Dyslexic Geek here. Today a German retailer Lucky Bricks have revealed the upcoming Star Destroyer set. Now this set isn't going to be coming out until August 1st. I can't quite believe this has leaked already but we do now have all the pictures and details of it. Now this set was rumoured to be a set based on the Death Star but it turns out it is in fact going to be a new Star Destroyer. Now this set, I say, is not coming out until August 1st so quite a long way away yet. It will be retailing for $160. No UK pricing has been confirmed yet, but I expect it will be around the £150 price mark. And this set will have 1,555 pieces, which is quite a decent size set, although it does look a little bit smaller than the, than the previous one. Now, the last Star Destroyer set that came out was way back in 2014, which I can't quite believe was that long ago. I did actually have the previous, well, I do have the previous one. I can't believe it's been 10 years since it last came out. But this is an updated version. Um, first impressions of it, I do like it. It looks really good. It's going to come with seven minifigures. And the first thing I do, I love this new Star Wars, Lego Star Wars box art. It does look something about this blue sort of grey box. It really does look good for me. I really like it. Now that this set is going to have the exclusive Cal Kestis minifigure, which I'll show in more detail in a second. But looking at the, the Star Destroyer itself, I like it. It looks quite nice. It looks a little bit shorter at the, than, than the previous one. It doesn't look quite as long. Uh, but like the last one, it does open up to reveal uh, a full play, a play, a playable interior, which is quite nice. Kind of like the last one did. Although well, this one looks a little bit more detailed than the previous one. I believe this is only the third play scale um, Star Destroyer that Lego have ever done. So that's quite um, that's quite re remarkable, really. So in terms of minifigures, we get seven in total. So we get Darth Vader, uh, Commander Praji, an Imperial, an Imperial crew member, an Imperial gunner. An Imperial Navy Trooper, one Stormtrooper, and of course the 20th, 25th anniversary Cal Kestis minifigure, which is quite a nice looking minifigure, looks decent enough. Yeah, I like it, I like the set, I'm not too sure how excited I am for it, if you know what I mean. I've got the previous one, it's not that drastically different, um, but anyone who hasn't had the previous one, you know, that's long gone now, that retired a good few years ago. Um, it does look really quite cool, look from a side angle, you can see here just how sort of narrow it is at the front. Oh, it looks like the cannons have it looks like the laser cannons have been updated, but they still have the uh, like the, the the tab here where you can rotate them and pull them backwards and forwards, which is quite cool. Although one thing I have noticed on this set, unlike the last one, which had this like um like handle, it looks like this time you can um fold it into and hide that the handle thing. So that's quite a nice touch. I do quite like that idea. So you can see it here. It looks like the handle has these little um little doors, so you can hide that. The previous one you couldn't do it. But this, this top section here does all lift off like the last one to reveal the interior. It, but it is very similar to the previous one, just being updated really. But yeah, I do like that little touch. That is quite nice. I like that you can actually hide the handle. And so you have it open up here. You get a little bit more look at the interior. So it's pretty much, pretty much the same as the previous one. Not hugely different, but you can get a look at the, the, the inside of the Technic frame. And you get a look around the back. So the, it's very, very similar to the previous one. So anyone who's got the previous one, like me, I don't know if you necessarily need to go and get this one, but it's, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I thought I'd be buying day one, um, 160 dollars, 150 pounds. I expect. I do have. I have seen rumours that this is going to be a Lego exclusive for a little while, so it won't be available at any other retailers. Um, get another look at the interior detail. Looks like it should hopefully be um, printer sections. They do look quite nice. I like the like um, schematics. So that's quite good. Get a look at all the minifigures and all look nice looking up minifigures. I don't think there's any particularly new here apart from the Cal Kestis. Uh, although I think, I think the, uh, the Commander um, Praji minifigure is a new one, so that's a, that's a I think that's a new minifigure. But look at the Cal Kestis minifigure, it does look really good. Uh, from, from the Jedi games, Jedi Survivor, and Jedi Order. Nice looking version of Cal Kestis. It's nice to see this chap in minifigure form. It does look really good. So that is the Star Destroyer. That is going to be coming out, coming out on August the 1st. So quite a long way to wait for this one. A good two or three months till this comes out. It will be retailing for $160. And I expect £150. And I say it will be exclusive to Lego but in the first instance. So there we go. So let me know in the comments. Are you looking forward to this Star Destroyer? Is it one you're looking forward to getting? Can I please ask leave a like? And if you've enjoyed today's video, I'm very grateful if you consider subscribing today. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.